Hey guys, how's it going? Clayton here at eTrailer.com. Today I'm working on a 2019 Audi A3. We'll be taking a look at, and I'll show you how to install, a Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver. So this is what our hitch is going to look like installed. As you can see, you can't really see the cross tube very well, so it's going to look really nice tucked up underneath our Audi. So our trailer hitch is a steel construction. It's finished in black powder coat, so it's going to resist any rust or corrosion over time. So that's going to be awesome because our hitch is going to look long or look good for a long time. Our hitch receiver is inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. So this is going to play well with like two bike bike racks or smaller cargo carriers or maybe even a small trailer hitch if you wanted to tow a Sea-Doo. Our hitch does have a reinforced collar for just a little extra strength. Our hitch is going to come with a half inch hitch pin hole. As you can see that fits through there. The, the pin and clip are not included, but you can find those here at eTrailer.com. We do have a loop style safety chain hook. This plays well with almost all of our safety chains. We can even fit our big one on there if we have a safety chain like that. And the loop style looks nice underneath our Audi. As far as our measurements are concerned, the measurement from the ground to the upper part of our receiver tube is about 10 inches. This is important if you need to buy a raised or lowered shank for either a small trailer hitch or a cargo carrier or bike rack. The measurement from our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our fascia is about eight inches. This comes into play with our folding accessories just to make sure they're not gonna touch our rear, rear bumper. As far as our weight capacities are concerned, our tongue weight rating is gonna be 200 pounds. So that's 200 pounds pushing down on our receiver tube. That's gonna be great for a, to a small two bike bike rack or a small cargo carrier. Our trailer weight rating is 2,000 pounds. Keep in mind, that's the weight of the trailer and the load included. Now that we've talked about the hitch a little bit, I'll show you how to get it installed. To start our installation, we're gonna have to open up this hole. That way we can fit our hardware through. I'm gonna use a sanding bit and a drill just to open that up, but you can use a rotary tool or even a file. So we've got our hole opened up. We can test it with our hardware. Our hardware fits through just fine. And then we'll repeat this process on our passenger side. After we have enlarged our hole, we want to take our pull wire, our spacer block, and our carriage bolt and insert it into our frame. We're going to be using this hole and this hole. I prefer to fish wire from back to front, so we'll put our coil in through this side, pull it out here, slide our hardware on, and pull our fish wire through. Then you want to make sure to leave our extra pull wire on the other side just so that our hardware doesn't slide into our frame. We'll thread on our carriage bolt. And insert our spacer block. And then our carriage bolt. And you might have to put your carriage bolt in backwards. And push it up into the frame. we can pull our pull wire through. Then you'll repeat that process on our other side and for this hole as well. Our kit's only going to come with two fish wires, so after you get your first bolt in, you're going to want to unthread it carefully and repeat the process for our next hole. When we held our hitch up into place, our two front bolts on each side weren't lining up correctly. They were kind of crooked. So we're going to come back in and just enlarge this hole. That way we can make sure that those bolts are coming through our hitch straight. So after we've enlarged our holes, we can reinstall our hardware in our front two holes the same way that we did before. Now we can go ahead and hold our hitch up into place and see if everything fits. So it's a good idea to grab another extra set of hands. We lift our hitch back up into place. You wanna take your side first. And again, just be careful with those rear holes, those rear bolts, just because we don't have a pull wire on them. Carefully thread our hex nuts on. And once you get two bolts on, the hitch can support itself. So enlarging our holes worked. Our carriage bolts are now sitting flat. So we can go ahead and pull off our pull wire. Take our hex nut. And carefully thread that on. You'll repeat the same process on our passenger side. 
with all of our hardware loosely installed, we can come back and tighten them down. I'm going to use a 20 millimeter socket. And this second bolt is kind of hard to get to, so I'll grab a swivel. With all of our hardware snug down, we can come back and torque it down. Your torque specs will be listed in your instructions. You'll repeat that process for the rest of our hardware. With all of our hardware torque down, we're ready to hit the road. That's going to do it for a look at and installation on a Kurt Class 1 hitch on our 2019 Audi A3.